Everything begins with spirit. You overstep that, you're gonna fall short. More than 500 years ago, before the predestined arrival of other members of the human family, there flourished vast civilizations that carried trade and commerce from the very north of the Americas to the very south of the Americas and across the Rockies and the Andes. This was the union of the Condor and Eagle. Throughout our history and the storytelling of our ancient peoples, there is a line that is told from generation to generation. Without the tellings of old, we could not survive as the indigenous people. But there was a legend told, a story of the great bird. This today is known as a condor and of the most powerful of the native peoples telling the eagle. It was said in time, there will be a bringing forth to all that is of this creation of world. The condor will come from the south, the eagle will come from the north. And it is said of the two, when they are brought to actual pairing, this is now the beginning of what is to be a time of peace. The eagle represents the north, indigenous people from the north, with their message, with their knowledge. The true leaders of our homeland is our, is our people, the original people. I'm talking about a leadership, you know, that reflects moral and ethical behavior, you know, that, that is really inspired from the heart itself. There are archetypes which have great meaning to cultures everywhere in the world. The eagle has been one of those symbols. It's a very masculine energy. It's an energy that discovers and invents and makes things happen.
eagle, from some perspectives, can also represent the mind. And that's why I believe maybe that technology is so advanced in the North. For us, as indigenous, there is no coincidence for us. Everything has a purpose. Breathing together people, uh, uniting hearts, uniting the love, raising the love of uh, humanity, of, uh, of our sacred Mother Earth, the universe, the light that shines us every day, what we call in our language the time of Pachacute, time of transformation. The condor represents indigenous people from the south. You know, it's more mellow softer energy. There's a lot of heart, a lot of connection with the earth. And what we're saying as, as, as the original peoples is that there has to be a change of heart. And I challenge people out there, are you a person of the heart? And if so, then come, come and join us. You know, as we celebrate, you know, that relationship that we have with the land, come and love the land the way we love it. That's all you gotta do. You know, and we're prepared to offer our heart that carries the knowledge and the remembrance, you know, of what it means to be a human being. So these were the two primary symbols of many of the indigenous peoples of the Americas. In all the sacred prophecies, from the prophecies of Kul Kul Khan, the prophecies of the Incas, Viracocha, 
Quetzalcoatl, the Eighth Council Fire, Return of the White Buffalo, the Sacred Prophecy of the Hopi, all the sacred prophecies foretold that a great spiritual wintertime was coming. And as prophesied, our relatives came to these sacred lands. This was the time in which the union of the condor and eagle was shattered. There's a lot of gatherings all over the country talking about climate change. Climate change is really because of, uh, you know, human behavior. And what we're talking about is spiritual behavior. Yourself. We prayed as we were told to pray. We tried to live our lives in harmony with Mother or Mother Earth. Why were we punished? What is going to happen is already the manifestation of this prophecy. So we are in this time already. I'm happy and honored to be in here in this part of the world and uh, to share with you my brothers from North, the land of the eagle the condor and the eagle we will breed us together again like before. There have been wounds of injustice, of oppression, of colonization, of greed, of superstition, all those things which injure the human heart. At the same time, there's been no way for this to be expressed. It's been held inside. And so this ancestral wound is this wound that's been carried on from generation to generation to generation, this intergenerational trauma. You know, change will never happen by the masses of people suddenly waking up tomorrow morning and realizing that they need to change. It has to begin by a few individuals which is a reflection of the prophecy of our prophets, you know, that foretold of this time. And the prophecy was that it would be here that the truth would be revealed at the center of the continent that we refer to as Turtle Island. But we would call upon our brothers and sisters from other parts of the world. And it's going to be the spirit of the condor and the eagle that's going to help us get there. But it was also prophesied and promised that after a period of 500 years that a great, great spiritual springtime would emerge with such power and such intensity that all that had been covered in the cold, bitter snow would be revealed and cleansed and purified and that we would emerge galvanized, reunited as not only a reunion of the condor and eagle, but a reunion of the entire human family. This time is now. And so I say to America, I want you to remember our past. This past will give you direction for the future. Just as our people in our past, we are the spirit of the future. The spirit of this land lies rooted in the history of Native people. The massacres that happened to us, the army that came, took our land and killed our people, did not destroy our vision for a strong future. We are still strong, America. We never weaken. Like the spirit of Chief Joseph, we are still strong. Like the spirit of Geronimo, we are still strong. Like the spirit of Crazy Horse, we are still strong. America, we are strong people.
We are strong. We were born strong. I see the many our spirit colors of people. Of the time. And that's what makes For us strong. For 400 years will be, will be dormant. That's what we believe in. We'll be just dead people laying that's under the ground. And after 400 years, we, we would await it for this new time. And then start the a walking again. Of our people. Start to teach what, whatever it's required. In the spirit of our ancestors. We went farther. Gone long ago. Teaching of our ancestors telling us this. We were the teachers to our way brothers. And sometimes we would say this is impossible. But that's coming. Kind of Just like an eagle flying high. A reminder to the four directors that we were born strong. We are strong. And when we leave this world to go to the spirit world, we will leave behind a culture and a tradition for the seventh generation. We will leave them the stories and songs of our people, of our struggle, of our ceremonies, and of our women. And when we leave them, we will know that they will be strong, still strong. One heart, one respect, and one understanding that there be one love for each, all colors in the world. So that, at that time then, that hate fire, we do that.